Walking down the sidewalk to the breakfast cafe, Alyssa nearly bumped into Keen and nearly avoided cutting herself on the thorn of the flower he was holding. Exhaling, she continued her debate of what to have for breakfast. She walked to her first class of the day and sat down, feeling a cool wind blow past her. She looked aside to see the empty seat next to her. The occupant usually blocked the air vent. It was Keen's seat that was empty. She exited the classroom and headed to the library to study. Noticing Luna had taken a liking to a new fashion book. She had a new one every week. Oh, and she has a flower with her as well. Inspiration is what she'd call it. The library was echoing with silence throughout the entire time she had in between her first and second class. Only the scribbles of pencil to paper, paper flipped onto paper, or slight adjustment of seating could be heard. Is that Ramin? Wonder what's happening with the soccer team. He wanted to make the team after all. He might not look it, but he's pretty good. What's he doing? Holding a flower? What is going on with all these flowers? She thought walking up to her second class. She tried avoiding it, but now these flowers are popping up everywhere. Is there a flower day or something? Was there a memo she didn't catch? A pop quiz? Yes, she's been waiting for the day she could crush everyone around her. Finally, the last class of the day is over and... Maya? What's she doing here? Didn't she say she wanted to be a spellcaster or something? Why is she at... Flower? Again? Okay, this is getting weird. Seriously, is there a club or something? Arriving at the housing, she asked her roommate about the flowers. She said she saw the same thing, but there was a new gardening club set up and it might have something to do with that. That would make sense, except for the fact that none of those people would join a gardening club. Well, she has tests to prep for and a night to not sleep through, so best not cloud her mind with too many things. Her final study session was over. The sun glistened on the walls of the buildings as she walked through the neighborhood. She liked going to new places because the sights and smells helped clear out her mind, especially if there were new neighborhoods. But her mind still felt full. Keen wasn't at any of the classes for two days, Maya wasn't answering her phone, Luna no longer showed up at the library, and Ramin wasn't seen on the soccer field at all. She gazed upon a flower bed being tended to by some man. Her eyes widened. Aren't those the flowers? He looked up at her, and chills slithered up her spine. Immediately turning around, she quickly walked out of the neighborhood into her house. Her roommate wasn't there, not even in her bedroom. She could be in her room, Alyssa thought, opening the door to the other bedroom. No one. Only a pristine vase holding the flower stood there, grinning at her.